Hey everybody, Kplum Games here, and welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. In the last episode, we started things off, and we got here to the first dungeon. And uh, in this episode, we'll hopefully be able to finish up the first dungeon. And uh, yeah, this is the Tail Cave. It's a pretty good introductory dungeon because it's kind of small. Um, introduces you as to what to expect moving on. And these fireballs, they try to attack us. Okay. So the slimes also try to attack us, but uh, we got a heart from them that I can't even reach because it's on top of the friggin' thing. Um, <laughs> yeah, okay, so that's kind of rude. Anyways, we got the compass. Uh, this will tell us where there's chests in the map, as you can see. Yeah, I can't even reach the heart. And I'm wasting magic powder by pressing X. I really need to unequip that if I'm going to be using it. Because to me, X should mean jump, but <laughs> it's not. Because I'm used to friggin' Tears of the Kingdom right now. And because I'm used to Tears of the Kingdom, um... I want to instinctively press X for jump. Anyways, that room was pretty simple. We killed the bro. And uh, we get another key! <laughs> Racking up them keys! So happy. Oh my god, I need to unequip it. Can I just put you on something? Thank you. <laughs> I need to unequip it because it's gonna mess me up! And I don't want to waste it all! Okay, so these are the same tiles we saw last episode. We can only step on them very briefly. Piece of power! Doesn't really matter at this point because we kill these guys in one shot anyways. Uh, let's head on. Let's go on and on and on. Perfect. Still making that same Xenoblade reference. <laughs> a year and a half after my channel starts and I'm still making the same reference. Frick! Okay, we can move that guy, but it doesn't do anything for us. Kill you. Hi, will you die, sir? Sir, this is a Wendy's. I need you to evacuate the atmosphere. I need to, to evacuate this plane of existence forever. <laughs> Wait, what? Why did that get me a chest? I thought I had to kill everybody, including you. And you're a thing, too. I remember that. Okay. Killed the Stalfos, the bony boy. Bone Daddy. Ooh. Ooh. I don't know how I feel about Bone Daddy. Um, <laughs> to each their own. I mean, I hope your daddy has bones. Everyone deserves bones. <laughs> what does that even mean? I hope your daddy has bones because everybody needs bones to survive. It's like a human factor. If you don't have bones, what are you friggin' doing, bro? And I'm already at low health, goddammit. Go in the hole. <laughs> Bye, Felicia. Oh my gosh. Okay, avoid these guys, because they're gonna murder me. And uh, there's a good chance I die in the first dungeon of the game. Avoid that saw blade. Those things will literally try to murder you. Um, okay. Let's come around here. Avoid you. Yes! Give me your hearts! Thank you! We got one heart from that. Okay. Is there an item here? Or a chest? No. Okay. We'll move on then. Also, I'm going to just keep it on the map for now. Oh, that's what did it. Okay, so we need um, to find a sharp beak. The beakless statue is saying something. You can't make it out. Yeah, so we need to find the beak for that statue in order to get hints with the dungeon. And these guys are like buzzy beetles. Look at them. Or not buzzy beetles, spinies. We can shield them, and then they get knocked over. Cute. I love to see it. 
All right, let's head down these stairs, and we're in the 2D side scroller section. There's Goombas. Uh, we can stab the Goombas. You can't do that in Mario, but in this game, you can stab the Goombas. And you can also step on them if you land on them. Um, we can't jump currently, so we have to land on them just by falling off the platform, if that's our goal. And you guys are just vibing, doing your thing, avoided them, and we get the rocks feather! It feels like your body is a lot lighter. This is why I thought that X meant jump, because I always have this thing equipped to X. And because of the Tears of the Kingdom obsession that I've had for the past month or so, um, yeah. X to jump is just associated with Zelda now. Um, I like the Rock Sever a lot. I'm probably gonna have it equipped for a while. Unless I need other things, but just having a jump feels good. I like to have a jump in this game. Um, so yeah. We're gonna keep the Rock Sever on for now. Um, also, I never even needed to go through that. We could've just jumped it to come back. Uh, but yeah. We could also jump this to avoid the saw blade. Don't even have to deal with it anymore. Um, did we get all the stuff in here? Yeah, I think we did. Okay. Um, there is the map to the left of us. I don't know how to get there. Hold up. Let me- Oh, we need bombs for that. You see that wall over there? I think we need bombs to get over there. Beautiful, got a kill. And uh, where do we go next then? Maybe to the right, I would say. Or we can go through here too now that we have the jump. Give me a heart. No, no heart. You heartless. Bye. All right, yeah, let's go through here. Use one of our keys and there's another item. Hello! What do you have for me? The big key! Or the nightmare key! Now you can open the door to the nightmare's lair. Alright. We're gonna take that and run. Good, good, good. And, uh... Yeah, okay, let's head to the right now. Okay. Shoot! I walked into the boy! Ah... Uh... Did I ever go down from here? Is that even something you can do? Bro, I don't even know. Maybe it's a one way. Okay. Can you please jump in the void? Yay! Oh. I thought I hit X. Okay. I fell into the void too. Oh look, it's the mid boss. Hi. Alright, so this guy will throw this at us, we have to jump over it, and then we can stab him. Pretty simple boss, he's not too difficult. There we go, didn't even get hit. And you exploded into a fairy! Cute! Alright. Oh god, there's saw blades. Alright, um... Did we see everything? Okay, there is a one-way door. I feel like we should go back and deal with that because we can warp back to the start. You see these blue circles? They're warp pads. Yeah, okay, I think my strategy right now, warp back, head north, head east, get this chest, come through, get back here, do the damn thing, all right. And then after that, we're pretty much done with the dungeon already. Pretty short dungeon, honestly. Can go through here, which we didn't do last time. And there's some enemies to take care of. But they shouldn't be a problem, I hope. Yeah, so get these guys back up against a corner and then just hit them a few times and they're not that bad. All right, let's get this chest. Probably just like rupees or something. Oh, it's the map. Let's press minus to look at it. 
Okay, so now this is the full map. We already saw a lot of it because we went to a lot of the rooms, but uh, now we see what it looks like for real, for real. And uh, there's one more item I think we can get. If we head here and then north... Wait a second... Yeah, there should be an item in this room. Oh, right, we didn't go here yet, okay. So this, you want to get everybody to the same thing. You want to match all of the symbols. Perfect. And I'm going to wait for you to land on heart. There we go. It's not that bad if you're patient. Um, because they do stop on the suits in order every now and then. They stop for an extra second or so. You found a stone beak. Now to find an owl statue to fit it into. Alright. Hi. Turn- wait, what do you say? Turn aside the spined ones with a shield. Oh, we knew that already. <laughs> Tell me something I don't know, sir. Alright, but we got the owl's beak. We got the map. We got the compass. We're doing the damn thing. We're pretty- we're pretty good on stuff. Honestly, I don't even want to go back and check the statues. We have most of everything based off of the compass. We can just... wait, what? Oh, I have to head right one more time. Okay. And then we head up twice and that's the boss. Oh, do not get hit by you. And uh, let's go down these stairs because they might have something for us. My god, they literally hung skeletons. It's a little bit dark. I forgot about this. Yeah, they literally hung people and these are the dead remains. Okay. Go off, Zelda. Let the saw blades go and open up. We have full hearts. Hopefully we'll survive. Buzz Buzz, outsider. This is Moldorm. Alright, here we go. We want to hit that orange part of the tail. Oh my god. Okay. Yes, we got it! And this guy freaks out. Just have to try and avoid him. Near the end phase of the fight, he starts to go like really, really fast. So, just gotta be careful for that. The only vulnerable part is the tail, so we just have to keep going for that. And we obviously don't want to step on the broken tiles, because then they will break and give us less room to walk. Alright. Oh no! There we go, got you. We did that without getting hit. Not even bad, bro. We're doing the damn thing. And we got a heart piece! <laughs> a heart container! Your maximum number of hearts increase and your health has been refilled too. I love to see that. Let's go. And we get a violin, it looks like. You got the full moon cello. Cello, my bad, sorry. Yay, we got the cello. Beautiful. Ah, the music in this game is so good. Hearing that little theme play just now, it reminds me. Swamp. <laughs> A path opens in the blooms. Alright. <laughs> Swamp it is, folks. I told you, we're supposed to go there after the first dungeon. I wasn't joking. Alright. Um, so yeah, that was Tail Cave. And, uh... Alright, our old friend is coming out to say something. What's up, bro? Hoot. That is an instrument of the sirens. I have to admit, at first I did not believe you were real. That instrument, along with the seven others in the set, has the power to wake the windfish. You must collect them all. I was instructed to give you directions. Your next goal is north and go Ponga Swamp. Hoot indeed. <laughs> Hoot indeed. That's how I end all my conversations. Just hoot at them. They won't think you're weird, trust me. Okay. So now that we have the ability to jump, uh, some things opened up to us. That one heart piece uh, we can now get that we saw near the swamp. 
but I don't want to get that until after we start to head up there. These kids are freaking out. What's happening? Hey, buddy, it's serious. Yeah, really serious. Yeah, it is. The Moblins came to the village. Yeah, that's right. A whole gang of Moblins. Then, it's for real. They all went to the house. Yeah, that house, and then they did something to Bow Wow's house. It was a really bad scene with the m m Moblins. So, I mean, ah! It might be faster to find out for yourself what happened. Okay. What happened, Madame Meow Meow? Tell me, honey. Oh, that was a scream. Jesus, you think she's getting stabbed. Ay, it's terrible. My Bow Wow has been dumped not by Moblins. Oh! Please, somebody help my poor Bow Wow. Okay. Apparently the Moblins came to strike. Um, and we have to go save Bow Wow. I wonder if the music resets if we do this. In and out. Also, Terran was sleeping. We should go check up on him. Now the village is still in disarray. I was going to do some side quests around the village, but I guess we'll wait to do that. Hmm, Snore. Hmm, if you don't know, call old man Olryra. Zonk Snore. <laughs> Zonk Snore indeed. Okay, well... I guess we're gonna go do the main quest still. Um, there's lots of side questy things we can do here in uh, the village, but we'll just head on to our main objective, I guess. All right, hello. Can I just? Oh, you got me, bro. It's okay. I have a heart, and now I have four heart containers. So screw you. <laughs> Let me go pick up this rupee because it's always nice to have more. Hey, we killed them with one shot with this power. Nice. Love to see it. And, uh, yeah. Kill you. Bye. You can come here now. Hello. I jumped the chasm in front of your house. Well, I pretty much stick to myself. Me and my letters. My name's Wright. The only thing I don't like about my hobby is that I never receive response. This guy, um, he's a reference to one Nintendo game. I actually forget what it is. Uh, I want to say it's the one where you make the city, the NES one. I think he's an assist trophy in Smash. I forget what the game's called, though. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to make note of that because he's another Nintendo reference. And he has a little parrot with him. Okay, um... The swamp, the swamp. Oh, you know what? Did I miss the heart piece that I said I was gonna go get? I think I did. Oh my god, no! The choo-choo jelly ate me! Bro! The audacity of that thing. Okay, well... Um, I want to go back and get the... Item that we were missing. Uh, the heart piece, rather. Bro! <laughs> Get off me! I won't be a host for you. Yes, we press the shield button right in time. Perfect. Okay, yes, heart container. Hello! You got a piece of heart. Perfect. And, uh, what's here? Tall Tall Heights. Okay, so yeah, we can go to Tall Tall Heights eventually. Um, the Windfish in name only, for it is neither. What that means is a whole lot of cryptic stuff, so I don't actually know. And we're in the Tabal Wasteland. Okay, this is kind of like a little graveyard area that we're coming across. Um, there's not much for us to do here currently, so I wouldn't worry about it too much, but just know that this is here. And we end up looping our way around back to the Witch's Hut. Oh my gosh, there's a gravestone there that looks all pretty and important. But yeah, so that little graveyard's there. Just remember that for later. Uh, we can't do anything with these rocks. And we can't really go to Tall Tall Heights, I don't believe. These guys are the same as the ones from the forest. They take the same amount of damage. Frick! Okay, I guess you can hit me. I'll allow it. You're close to Tall Tall Heights. Dompe Shack is nearby. Yes, Dompe is in this game. Uh, I don't think he was originally in Link's Awakening, um, but he's part of 
the new content in the remake. Yeah, who's a suspicious looking run? Okay, boys, let's get rid of him. Yeah, you're not gonna get rid of me. Not that easily, at least. You're gonna have to try harder than that, my friends. Alright. Perfect. Nice! Killed all of them. And we have this guy! You must be an assassin sent by Madame Meow Meow to rescue the Mott. You came here to get me, but it is I who will get you! Bitch, no you won't. I mean, you do one hard damage. Okay, yeah, so I remember how to fight you now. Also, yeah, we can do a charge attack. I forgot to mention that before. But we can do a spin attack. So... Just keep that in mind. Um, I should have kept that in mind, but yeah, you can do a spin attack, which is pretty powerful. But it takes a moment to charge up. And of course you hit me. Perfect! Go home, bud. Yay, I got the fairy. Okay, we're back up to health. Hi! You saved Bow Wow! What a fearsome base. He is indeed. Okay, so now that we have Bow Wow with us, uh, he will actually chomp at enemies for us. Um, among some other perks. He's kind of like a little temporary party member we have with us. So let's go out of the cave. Oh, and the windfish is like, hey buddy, go and do this shit again. <laughs> Hi. Hoot, that is a fearsome looking animal you have there. Do not forget the next instrument is in Kuponga Swamp. Okay. I won't forget. Promise you that, my friend. Um, I see Dompe over there, but I'm not actually going to talk to him yet. I'm going to save that for... Um, maybe the next episode? I feel like after we finish the second dungeon, we can do a lot of the side questy things. But honestly, now that I'm thinking about it, we can go talk to Dompe. It's fine. Hi! Hey, you made it out of here! That speaks well of you! Maybe you can help me out with a little job! I'm Dompe, and my job around this island is to dig up interesting stuff! When you have some time to spare, come see me in my shack over there! Alright. I'm happy we talked to him. That's gonna set up a few things later on, probably. Um, but yeah, so Dompe's a nice dude, um, and he has some content that's exclusive to this version of Link's Awakening that uh, we'll hopefully get a chance to take a look at later on. All right. Yes! Snack time, baby! I love the chomp sound effect. Okay. Let's take a jump over here. Let's take a stab over here. Anything down here, by the way? I don't even remember. Oh, this is back where the mushrooms are. Okay. Easier way to get mushrooms later. Um, I'll pick one up while we're here, just in case we need to go and get more powder from the witch. Sounds like a drug deal. Still sounds like a drug deal, no matter how many times I say it. Okay. Oh my god. Oops. Oopsies. Oopsies. Please don't hurt me. I'm not evil, I promise. Can you please eat these, Bow Wow? I know you have a cooldown and all that, but seriously, bro, Eat him! Oh wait, we can attack these guys? I thought the choo-choo jellies were off limit. Okay, uh, we're not supposed to go here yet. There is some stuff that's stopping us from making any progress. I see a heart piece there. Hello! Music! The fish stirs in the eggs, you are there. What? Did I even read that right? <laughs> The fish stirs in the egg. You are there. Not the eggs. It doesn't stir in multiple eggs. Also, you got a glimpse of my favorite song in the game just now. We're not going to be hearing it for a while, but... On that screen, and that screen only, just for now, you heard my favorite song in the game. Can't wait to uh, hear it more in depth later on. Nice! He eats the flowers for us. Chomp chomp, baby! Please? Thank you! There's a big ol' boy over here. You gonna eat that? 
Oh my god! You ate that? God damn, Bow Wow. The level of indigestion, far too much. <laughs> what do we have here? Bow Balrupe! Oops, dropped my phone. That is my bad. <laughs> okay, um... Let's just go to here. Oh my god, that attacks you? Bro! I didn't know that hurt you. It did one whole damn heart. That's so rude of the game to do. But yeah, now we're here on the other side of those uh, boulders. And... This is level 2, the Bottle Grotto. It looks heavier than heavy. Your current strength won't cut it. Okay, well... This is where we're going to end off today. Uh, we finished level 1 and we made it all the way here to level 2. So we're making some damn good progress on this game. Next time on The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening, we explore level 2. If you enjoyed this video at all, please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing as it would greatly help out the channel. And with all that said, I will see you all in the next one. Bye now!